funny story. Right before YouTube cut off revenue sharing for smaller players on YouTube, um, I met the threshold for ad revenue. So recently, uh, I just got a check from YouTube. Um, it was just a little bit more than the minimum payout amount, but it was enough uh, that after I thought about it a little bit, I thought, well, the motorcycle is mostly where my uh, ad revenue came from. So I'm gonna use that money to put back into the motorcycle. And one of the things I've been thinking about, and because I have a GSX S 750, there's not a huge aftermarket for foot pegs. I was hoping to do a, I should say adjustable foot pegs, rear sets. Um, I bought these, Slingshot Racing's uh, adjustable foot pegs, um, 100 bucks. And uh, thought I'd give them a try. I used some handlebar risers to bring the bars up and forward a little bit, so I thought this would be great to bring the pegs down and back a little bit. Uh, there was a little concern. Um, the pegs come out, and then they go down, and they go, and uh, a little worried about alignment, but we'll see what it looks like. Uh, I think it could be cool. So anyway, I'm gonna install these. It's a real simple installation. It's a little clip that you remove, a rod that you push out, spring, um, take the stock one away, put this one on, reverse the process. It's, it's actually really quick and very simple. So I'm excited about this. If it adds the kind of comfort that the bars did, this should be fantastic. This should be huge. So let's get to work. So let's open this up. Um, it came in a simple uh, cardboard wrapping with some bubble wrap around it. I pulled that off. Um, sealed with tape, it's in simple styrofoam. You gotta do the unboxing, right? <clears throat> and here they are. Nice finish, all billet. Nothing's cast. You can tell they're cut straight out of a piece of solid billet. Uh, adjustment point, adjustment point. What are we doing there? Adjustment point. Looks like a five. Yep, it's a fiver. That one's a six. One on the inside's a six. One over here's a five. All right, so I'm just gonna get started. There does not appear to be a left or a right. They're identically cut, so it doesn't matter. That's all it is, that little clip. That's it. Push it out. I'm gonna set the camera down. Wow. There she is. Wow, you just slide that out. One clip, one rod, one spring. A little clean up before we reinstall. A little lube. Wow, my other camera just died. All right, so we're putting a little grease on the shaft. I need to clean up this spring. Very gunky. All right, so new guy. That's way too forward. I'm going to adjust you before I put you on. Five millimeter. I gotta pull it all the way out. No. So that's kind of neat. Um, if you can see, there's just a little pin that holds the adjustment combined with that uh, Allen nut, Allen screw. So now the issue is the distance as you put these on, it's the distance between your foot uh, and your shifter. If I put it back too far, I may find that I'm reaching. I might have to cut and <laughs> shorten my shift lever. I'd like to avoid that if I can. Oh, this is upside down. Is it? Nope. That fits perfect. 
absolutely perfect. That's got her. Ooh, there she goes. Hey, that wasn't so bad, was it? All right, the base is on, and look, it behaves exactly like the factory one with the spring up and down. So now the question is, I got this setting, which is down and back, which doesn't look bad, actually, uh, or this setting, which is straight down. I really want to try it. My instincts tell me down and back. All right, we'll try it here. And then I gotta loosen the nut a little bit, I think, and level this out. Turn it. Designed for quick adjustments. Wow, that's so smart. I think that's where I want it. <clears throat> so my only concern might be this gap. <clears throat> See, when this is on, it's just one surface all the way across. What we've done here now is we've gone out, drop down, and forced the foot out here. However, the other day I was paying attention and looking at the wear marks. My foot resides out here towards this area. What I'm curious about is, yes, when I'm riding and my foot's like this, but when I come down to shift, Am I going to find myself trying to force my foot in to reach that shift lever as if this needs to be longer? I won't know till I ride. But I'm excited about the drop in the position right now. And uh, I like I like the, uh, the quality of the piece as well. All right, I'm going to do the other side. It's going to be the same thing. Um, and then I will, uh, as soon as it stops raining... Uh, go for a test ride, and I'll tag on to the end of this video a quick little test ride. I'm curious about this fixed position type of peg, uh, the solid peg rather than the rubber one. I know this gives you vibration isolation, but this rubber booty, sometimes when I'm moving around on the bike, it rolls over and it feels really unstable. Uh, look at that. It just gives too much. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, more of this fixed position and I think it'll feel better when I'm riding semi-aggressively. taking them off I can't stand them the angles all wrong you gotta push your toes in forward I don't like how this puts pressure on the side of my foot I haven't even ridden it but I already know this is dangerous if you don't change all of this it doesn't align right it doesn't work right it push puts pressure on my foot I can't even get my foot over far enough to use the shifter or the brake lever this thickness right here it's too wide and little did I know but I I need that flat plane and I don't think this change in this height by the way is enough um, of a difference in comfort to make this change all right back to the way it was designed by Suzuki so the idea is a good one uh, lower the pegs take a little bit of that tightness out of the knees and relax the legs a little bit just by dropping the peg but this block this thickness which is I'm sure required pushes it out so far and little do you know come look at this that while I'm riding aggressively my foot can ride out here on the edge you know your tiptoe and your body weight's moved over but I'm actually using this entire area all the way up against this piece and lined up straight ahead with my gear shifter gear selector however this pushes everything out and my foot doesn't reach 
doesn't reach the brake pedal either. In short, uh, this is a good concept, but it didn't work for me. I, I think it's actually dangerous. I'd have to heavily modify my shift levers, realign everything, but even if I did that, which for a second I thought, okay, maybe I can do that. This pressed up against my foot, on the inside of my foot. It's super uncomfortable. This area feels tiny, super small. Without this little extra bit of gap over here for your foot to move freely in, it creates a very small footprint, no pun intended, for your foot. Uh, at this time, the stock position is safer. When I put my foot on this, I have to find my shifter. I have to find the brake lever. I have to actually physically move my foot in a way it doesn't naturally want to move. That's so dangerous. I shouldn't have to think when I reach for my brake pedal. I shouldn't have to think when I reach for a gear. But this makes me think. And that causes delay, and delay can cause death on a motorcycle. I wouldn't use this. I'm not going to use this. I don't care if they refund my money or not. I'm not using it. So by the way, they did accept a, a return refund. Uh, I went on Amazon, filled out the paperwork, and I shipped them back. I just threw them in the mailbox uh, yesterday. So they'll be on their way back to Slingshot Corporation. Now I've done a little research and there's a company called Kemimoto. Uh, it looks like a Chinese manufacturer. For about the same price, they have an entire rear set. It seems very affordable for an entire legitimate rear set. But I did send them an email and they said that the, the, um, the adjustable foot peg, uh, which instead of being um, just a bracket that you add to the existing factory mount, you replace the whole thing. So it would work more like the factory position, but they said it does allow for the part, uh, I'm sorry, for the foot peg to mount lower than factory position. It's possible it could be a solution. I think I might give them a try.